Okay, I'm going to go ahead and build out this uh, list report. Some of this involves things that we've done in the Module 4, some of it in Module 5. Let me first start by going and I'm going to create this table row. Um, I I'm going to select table row and let me just put some of the fields on it. I'm going to be using the double click method. So I know it's going to be a table column value object. And I'm going to go and I'll place the order number, the order date. I'll put the stock description. And I'm just going to put the quantity and the price. So items, quantity and price. That's good. Let me then go to my table header. I'm going to add those same things, but I'm going to add them as table column value title objects. So I want to have my order number, my order date, some sort of description, stock description, and then quantity times price, quantity and price. I can see they've been all added out there to my report. Let me go ahead and change the title of this report. So go to properties, and this is going to be an order list report. I'll save my report now. This is the list.4rp. So inside of my report in main, let me just make sure I'm calling the right file. I'm going to call for the list.4rp. And what I'd like to do first before I go any further is rebuild this application. And I want to execute this application. Just make sure that the list report works before I start adding my totals to it. And looking at it, I see it didn't. It only printed one row, and that's because I hadn't yet manipulated my report or integrated it with my report triggers. So I can go back to Studio, go back to my report itself. I need to go into the report structure view, and I need to integrate my triggers and my on every row trigger with my information here. So first off, I'm going to have the store number trigger happen after the page header. So let me drop it on top of page root. So it all, I'll, I'll print out the page header, and then I'm going to have my store number trigger, my order number trigger, and then on every row, I want to print out the table row. Let me go ahead and save this. Let me re-execute my application. Notice that I don't have to recompile. And this is more of what I was expecting. So I have an order list report. And as I look down, it just prints out all of the rows. So my next head, I, I've created some totals. How can I add the totals to this report? One of the things I'm going to do is I'll go ahead and put my total at the end of each item. So back to my data view, I know I have the item total. First thing I'm going to do is take the item total as a, as a column value, hold down my control key, drop it at the end of the row. I'm going to then grab the column header as well and drop it at the end of the table header for the column headers. So I've added item totals out there. The next thing I'm going to do is let me go ahead and add an order total. So I want the order total to come at the end of the order number group. I can highlight that order number group, go to my toolbox, and I'm going to be placing a Stripe mini page. So double click on that. It adds a Stripe mini page. Rename it as my order total Stripe. Inside of the order total Stripe now, I can go ahead and from my data view, let me go ahead and drag my order total or place my order total inside of that order total Stripe. It's placed it, I can see, as a caption. That's not what I wanted to do. I have to go, I'm going to do this one as a form field value object. Grab my order total stripe, double click on it, and it's been placed as a value. I'm going to do the same thing for my store number total. So let me grab that store number. Let me go ahead and first place a stripe to put my data value in. So I'm going to double click on a stripe mini page. I always like to rename them now so that I know what mini page seven is when I refer to it later. 
And then with it highlight, I'm going to grab my data view, grab my store total, and place it inside of that stripe. And then the last thing is after all is said and done, I want to place the report total out there. I'm going to put that on the same level as page root, so I want the report total to be the very last thing. Let me highlight page root. I'm going to go to my toolbox, first put my stripe. We're going to call this the report total stripe. And inside the report total stripe, I'm going to place my report total. Having placed them there, I'll do a save. Let me go ahead and run. And if I look at my report now, I can see it prints the order total out. It prints the store total out when the store number changes. And at the very end of the report, I expect to see a third value that shows me my report total. Now, of course, I'd probably want to format these better. I'd probably want to put labels on it. I would likely want to have them aligned on the right-hand side instead of the left-hand side. All of that is formatting, and that's what we're going to get into in the next module.